welcome back to Lynchy's Chess Channel. Today I'll be playing a game, a bullet game against my mom's friend. Against one of my mom's friends, I won. We were playing a one-minute bullet game. I I love bullet. That's what I. That's why I play bullet. So but I'm gonna share the game with you. I made really a lot of mistakes and blunders because we were playing a one-minute bullet game. I would just. But we played good moves too. Okay, let me, let me play. Go. Okay. So the game started with d4, d5. By the way, I was white. The game started with d4 and then d5. 
I was playing the queen's pawn opening. I played bishop to f4. The mage, mason attack. Knight, he played knight c6. The ball king is knight. I played knight to f3. Knight f6. I played c4. So it's kind of like a queen's gambit line. The bishop g4, knight c3, bishop takes f3, and I played d e takes f3. I was thinking of just defending my pawn on c4. He played e6, played bishop d3, bishop b4, castles, and castle trying to get our, get our king safe. I played a3, trying to kick this bishop out. He played bishop d6, I traded, he took with the queen, and I went c5 to attack the queen. He played queen e7, and then I went queen to c2. I just, I just, I was running out of time, and, and I just, I, I just threw this move quickly in. I just tried to make a battery. I just threw this move in. Didn't realize what that happened. He didn't take this pawn for like, wait, what, eight moves, 15? I think he didn't take the pawn for like eight moves. Rook F, E1. Rook D, Rook A, Q1. Rook A, C, Rook F8. And until I blundered Rook E2, and he forked me. Knight takes d4, queen d1, knight takes e2. I, I was, I wasn't really, I, I didn't really like queen, ta queen takes e2. So I play knight takes e2, e5, c6, and then b takes z6. And I just trade the, the c pawns off because I wanted to get this pawn out so I can get my rook active. He played e4. By the way, he was a really good chess player. That's pretty bad at bullet, I think. So I had two choices. Take, go here, or go here. I have a trillion choices. And I go here. These are my choices. Guess what I played. Have um a few thirty seconds. Mute myself. Okay, I think time is up, and what I played is bishop to b5, and I, I just I just was thinking about like lining up to this rook right here. I played bishop b5. He played e takes f3. He takes f3, rook f8, queen c2, rook c8, knight to d4. Just try to get my knight in the center to get in the um, attack. I played knight h5. I played rook c5. I just, I just, I just rushed all of these moves and I didn't know what I was doing. I, I was just losing. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. I played queen d3 and I blunder. He could have just took in my rook, but he didn't because we were playing a bullet game. And he put, he played queen to g5 check. I think he made a, a is thinking of some kind of mate, but I didn't see any mate. Probably like knight to f4, king f1, queen c1 check happened in the game. And it was a total wonder of his queen because we were playing a bullet game. Yeah, he blundered his queen and it was like over already. Rook d6, queen c3, rook f6, knight c6, and he hung a rook or a fork. He hung, I, mean, I forked him, he played king g7, I took the rook on 
68. Notice Rick isn't isn't really a piece in this position because it's pinned. Can't move anywhere. And if the king moves, try to get out of the pin, the rook will be in danger, so I can just capture it. So the rook is not a, really a piece in this position. I played bishop to d3, and he ran out of time j just when he played h5. I mean, not just, like, like before he played the move h5, when you click on his time, because we were using an iPad. Okay, I'm probably going to play one game. One game. One. One teeny tiny game. Five minutes. I just got to wait for the amazing server to match me up with something. All right. 14825. 1425. Yes. Everything. Oh, he's playing the Alakind. Knight C3. Oh, he's playing the Vienna now. We're playing the Four Nights game. Castles. Castles. My rating is 1584. Okay, let's play a3. Let's attack the bishop with the with the good misclick by the day. It was it wasn't bad. It was good. Oh, you want you want to take the risk? Okay, I'm gonna go here and I'm maybe gonna take pawn. I want to take pawn. Take pawn. Take the pawn. Okay. D6, attack my rook. Don't want, don't feel like having my rook eaten today. So back to E1, maybe D4. So bad at making making red squares. Red squares. Red squares, red squares, red squares. Um what should I do? H three? I'm gonna play H three. Oh, I'm gonna play H three. I have a quite pleasant position. D4, probably bishop g5. Okay, he's attacking me. Bishop d3. Now maybe bishop g5. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just start this beginning of the game. H6, no. And take can't take with the queen because I made him. Okay. Look, let me show you something. If he takes my bishop is is attacking the escape square. So that, that would mate. Play queen d3. Attack this weakness. And attack this sting. I don't know what it does, but I think it's a check. This is a check. Okay, maybe this move now. No, I don't. Wait. Queen H4. He's gonna go back. Are we gonna go back and forth? No, I'm not feeling it like a draw today. Here, here. I wanna win. Maybe even lose. I, I, I don't wanna draw, I wanna win or I wanna lose. Don't know. We're here or here? I'm just trying to win the H6 weakness. If I go here, his only move will be here or here because if he goes here, I, I attack and my rook is blocking the, all of the squares in the G file. Okay, now I go with G3. He had this move because now it's blocked. Oh! <laughs> he can't go here because I'm checking the king. 
That was so hilarious. Um, hilarious time is over. It's time for chess time. Page five. Attack F5. Queen F6, I'm thinking of Rook here. I have three attackers and there's two defenders. Three minus one equals two, so he needs one more defender. But is there another way to defend the pawn? There's Queen G6. But then I take the pawn because the queen is pinned, so I can't take my queen. If I go bishop takes f5. Now I win a pawn. I take this, so I want to trade. Okay, that was hilarious. I said stop hilarious, and I can't stop it. I thought I had a rook on a1, but I didn't. <laughs> Oh no, I could have taken this pawn. I should have really stopped hilarious time. No more hilarious time. It's serious time. Be serious. Okay, okay. King F2, F4, King takes F4. Is serious time? Shh, not gonna talk. Oh yeah. Look at him live. Play one game. Do one puzzle, three puzzles, right? Yeah, every day I'm do three puzzles. No matter if I get it wrong or right. Oh wait, I wanna play some puzzle rush on chess.com with you guys. All right, do some puzzle rush. Go is, wait, go is 20, right? Go is 22. My, my best is like 26. Go is 22. Do 22 today. Go is 22. If I get to 22, I'm, my goal is gold is 30. And if I get to 30, my goal is 100. No, my goal is 40. If I get to 40, my goal is 60. And if I get to 60, my goal is 90, and if I get to 90, I, my goal is to 120. If I get to 120, then I may run out of time. I will play survival, I'm, but not the real time, like a three minute, five minutes. Um, the clock, the clock, look, it's 7.48 right now. Oh, 
with e4, knight f6. I really liked, I never really played it out of kind, but some people played a Vienna against me. I didn't, I don't really know the, the, the moves in the Vienna. I failed all the time. I tried to learn it, but I didn't really know. Wait, D6? The beginning was just, was just, was just, was just easy. We're just developing pieces and moving pawns. So it's, and it goes to this part where I played bishop takes f6. I was thinking of bishop takes f6. I already told you because if he plays this, his pawn is weakened and his king is opened. But if he takes with the queen, it's a mate. Because his escape square is covered by my bishop. So that's why I played bishop takes f6. He played g takes. And I played queen e3, attacking the weakness. He played king g7. And I also, I was thinking of queen f8 too. It was a, it was a defending move too. I played queen g3 check. I, I didn't even know what was that move. I just, I just, I just throw the check in the game. Try not and let the king defend his pawn. But it wasn't a fork. Played king f8. I played queen to h4, trying to attack. He went back to g g7. I played rook e1. I ha I had this rook lift here. Bishop e6, rook e3, f5, and I played the rook lift. I played rook to g3, check. He played king to h7, keeping this pawn safe. But the problem is he pinned this pawn. I went right after it. I played queen to h5. And also I realized <laughs> that my queen was in danger. Queen, he played queen to f6 and I realized if I play rook to f3, he had no way to guard the f5 pawn. So here, he played queen to g6 here. And what I noticed was I can take here because my queen is not in, in danger because of this pin. I will be threatening the king. So takes, he has to take with the bishop you don't have to but if he doesn't then then his queen will be eaten will be captured because of this pin so so he needs to capture this and i can take and then forces a trade takes 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 and takes right here he played king to g6 and i just and i just i was like talking hilarious saying i, I missed rook takes d5 i went rook to f3 he played rook e8 rook e3 i just trying to trade all of these pieces f takes e3 king f5 king f to f2 trying to get our kings in the game he played king e4 and i First thought it was a draw, but I realized that I had pretty pretty decent thing here. I just I just moved my king around, and I played g3 check, king f5, king f3, h5, and this was the thing I saw. And it was and it was kind of including all of the best moves. I played king g3. I played b6. I played king h3. I just, I just got my, I just, just move my king around and wait for him to run out of moves. So here I just went king f4. This, for you, this is just an easy one. Just go here. You just get, grab all of these pawns and you promote. Yeah. And these are just easy stuff. And he resigned when he played king to d6. Yeah. Doing three puzzles. He played that move. What to do, what to do, what to do. This is just break time. Just break time. 
What about this? Is the queen trapped? No, he has this move, this move, and this move. And this move. So, it's not trapped. Let's look at those moves. Oh wait, it is this move. Yeah. So, if I go here, see, it's a double attack. I attack the queen and I attack, attack this pawn. If I go here, he has to give away his queen. Or he might get, he may even get checkmated. Yeah, that was cool. That was cool. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, now I think I go here. I think I'm there. Oh, but I don't go here. I, yeah, it's this, it's this move. It's my bishop is hiding on b7. This thing. Yeah, it's this move, queen g6. Uh, F there, I'll just go here. Take the bishop. What? Oh, misclick. Okay, let's, I'm gonna do this again. Let's see if I'm not gonna misclick this time. I didn't misclick this time, so that's good because I'm practicing not to misclick. What to do, what to do? Is it queen and is it bishop to d3? Might not, it's not. Is it? There's no meaning of going bishop d3 and then him going to knight f6. There's no attack. Where is the attack? I would like this pawn to go away right now. To take this pawn. This, this. Would I go here? He goes here and then check here. Check here. Uh, what? What's happening? I want. I did it, Anna. What? Wait. Oh. Oh. What was that? Oh, now I realize it. All right, one more because this I did second and I did first. Wait, is, I'm so bad at remembering. I think it just takes. Yeah, it's pinned. Yeah, it takes. And then, do I do what do I do? Do I do? Do I take? No, I don't. Probably not. Probably do. Don't know. Not going to do that. I would do that in, when I don't do it, when in a bullet game, but I won't. I would think when I'm doing a puzzle like this. Is it here? But then he takes. Hmm. Very interesting. Take. Oh. Is it this move? He takes, then I take the rook, he takes my rook, and he got a material, got a knight. Can't, God, I need to save my knight. Is it F, it might be, what? It's not F6? Wait, what? So unfortunate, so unfortunate. Why? Why? There's so many different moves. What? Wait, what is that? What was that, by the way? Okay, takes. Check. Check. I want this bishop to disappear so I can fork this. Oh, I, I told you I'm going to go puzzle rush. Wait, I, wait. I told you that I'm going to go puzzle rush. Oh, I'm going to go puzzle rush. 
Wait, I, I always forget stuff. Sorry. Sorry. Really sorry. What? Go away. Okay. Put a new one. What's this? How can it be starting with the so hard one? Takes, takes. What's this? Am I? I don't want to just get an X on the first one. What? Wait, 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 wait. What was it? This one's easy. All right, all right. We're starting. We're starting normal now. I want to go easy to hard. Let's see, this this is will be a check. If I haven't hadn't haven't I, if I didn't have a knight on B five, but and he can just go to a7, but, but I'm attacking a7, so I just doesn't mate. Oh, smothered mate. See here that if I went here, it's my turn. If I went here, he can just go here and it's not mate. But if he went there, it blocks the escape square, and I can take this pawn. And the king can't go anywhere. Muttered by his own pieces, so I can mate here. Okay, back, simple back, rank mate. Simple back, rank mate, just taking the rook, removing the guard, and then mate. Simple scholars mate. Simple fork. We're starting out easy, okay? Simple fork, winning rook, and mating. I think this is a simple fork, winning the bishop. Simple back rank mate, forcing the king to the corner, and then mating. Yep. Bishop takes pawn, and then making this move. I mean, not this move, this mate. Rook takes g3, sacrificing a rook for two pawns, forcing the king to go to the corner or the side of the board and playing mate. Um, ladder mate. Okay, it starts to be hard. It starts to be hard. Exercise for it. Be so hard. How can chestnut comes also so be so hard? It's so hard. I'm thinking of queen here, but it must not be right. Queen here. The queen's defending. Oh, it's just simple skewer. It's simple winning a rook. I mean, two rooks. Wait, what? I didn't calculate that. Wait, can I go back? Wait, what? Can't go back? Oh man, that's bad. Okay, one wrong. It's okay. One wrong is okay. I need three wrongs to get this get this whole puzzle sad. Okay, when you rook. Okay, I, I won't talk about this position anymore. I really need to focus. Okay, okay. He just goes there and then I wait. If I check king goes here. Okay, this is a, if he went goes there, it's the same thing as what I just said. If he went goes king to g3. Um, queen here and this this is mate. I think it's right here. And I do this mate. Ooh. If I go here, he can block. But then I go check because if I go check right away, he goes escape to here. If I go here, check, it guards here. 
and it forces, it's, it's a forcing move to check. Now it's, it's a rookmate go here. So he has no checks because my pawn's blocking. And I go here, check, and I go, ooh, we're gonna get to 22. We're already at 20. Woo, we're gonna get to 22 easily now. Probably maybe not easily because of this one. This guy, this guy standing right here. Not easily gonna get to 22. This, and then I take the knight because we're winning material. Ooh, there's, there's a juicy queen. Juicy, juicy. Take it. Take it. Go here. And take this knight and then take the rook. Woo, we're already at 22. Oh, we're at 22. Wait, I need to solve 22. Woo, 23. Our goal is 30. Our goal is 30. Go here, go here. Opposition. We can go here. The king escapes. And then, okay. Then we take. Okay. Go here. They go escaping there, then I just take the rook. Can I? The pawn. And I take the knight. Take the other knight. We're at 25. So, oh, wait, I can do that. We can trap the bishop. We're at 26. Oh, my God. Is it this? Is it this? It's just, oh, what? Oh, okay, fine. We got 26. Whoa. I was just saying, this boy is standing right here. Okay, that was nice. I gotta say bye. I don't have time. It's already 8.05 in New York City. So, bye. Have a great day.